Excel accounting practice problem. Adjusting entry related to unearned revenue or customer deposit. Get ready because we're about to Excel. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. In prior presentations, we put together the worksheet from a blank sheet. Now continuing to enter transactions into it. If you have access to it, there's two tabs down below. An example tab and a practice tab. The practice tab starting out where we left off last time. And the example tab in essence being an answer key. Let's take a look at it now. We're focused on the unearned revenue. And if you've seen unearned revenue in accounting classrooms, we're going to be doing an adjusting entry that looks a little bit different then it would traditionally be recorded because we're trying to mirror what is often done in accounting software. Let's see if we can explain this in a bit more detail before we move forward here. Now note that the unearned revenue is often one of the more confusing adjusting entries because it's a type of account that you won't see all the time. It's going to be the type of account that's going to be there and in place for certain types of industries types of industries that are going to get paid before they do the work. In other words, usually you're going to do the work at the same point in time. Think cash register, for example, making the sale within the store, like selling a guitar within the store in our case, and you get paid at the same point in time, or you do the work beforehand. You can think about like a law firm, bookkeeping firm, or something like that, where they bill out the time that they have worked for and then they're, they're going to get the money at a later point in time. Some people, however, get the money beforehand, and so certain types of industries will be more focused in on the unearned revenue, although those industries are more rare. Possibly they're increasing in nature, however, because the classic example is a magazine company or a newspaper where they pay, you get a year's worth of subscription up front, and then you deliver the newspaper, therefore you get paid before you do the work, Computer applications are now often on a subscription model. So that's a growing area where you have the same kind of phenomenon getting paid first before you've actually earned the revenue. So traditionally then in a normal book problem, you would think you would want when you earn the revenue or get the revenue to increase unearned revenue here as, as you uh, get the money if you're in a normal subscription model. And then periodically you go through and determine how much of that money you have actually earned lowering the unearned revenue and then recording the revenue at this point in time so normally in an adjusting entry for like a book problem what you would be doing is saying okay how much of this unearned revenue and remember if all of my revenue was from subscriptions then i would set up my accounting system to just basically have the unearned revenue increasing every time cash was received from a customer and then try to determine on a periodic basis how much of that revenue had actually been earned, moving it from unearned revenue then to revenue at that point in time. Now that works great in theory, but there's kind of a problem with this unearned revenue account in that it's, it's trying, you're trying to track the revenue that you have earned from customers in a liability account, which isn't a natural thing to do because normally when you're tracking payments from customers as well as what is owed, you do that in the accounts receivable account. In other words, if you're trying to design accounting software, you have a sub ledger for the customers supporting the accounts receivable account and the customers are typically tied to the accounts receivable account. So therefore, when you, when you get a prepayment, a deposit, it's a little bit more difficult to determine when the revenue has been earned or invoice the client at a later point in time when you're using this liability account which isn't typically tied to the customers instead of the accounts receivable account so what will often happen in practice and there's couple there's different kind of workarounds that you will see but accounting software uh, using accounting software one method to deal with this and be able to track you know how much has been owed 